Hello everybody, it's Alex Tom, SoyaChinger.com and this is the MG4. It's a hatchback, it's electric and it's rear wheel drive. Is this a BOAD Dolphin killer? Continue watching to find out more. At first, I thought this is an electric SUV, but look at it, it's actually more like a hatchback, kind of like a similar segment as a BOD Dolphin. And I think this looks better. And look at that, look, it has a sharper lines, it looks more sporty, more aggressive. I think this is much more youthful than the BOD Dolphin. What's more interesting is that the MG4 will come in four different variants. There are three standard models, ranging from 167 horsepower to 241 horsepower, and the long range version can deliver up to 520 kilometers on a single charge. And if you want more performance, there's the MG4 X Power that delivers 430 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. In a compact hatchback, you can get from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.8 seconds. That's the same performance you get on the BYD Seal Performance. And you get that in the compact hatchback. If you thought the front was good, check out the rear. I think this is the best view of the MG4. You get this double spoiler design and these rear lights, it kind of reminds me of the Toyota BZ4X. And if you open the boot, it's not powered by the way, you get 363 liters of space, which is fairly decent for a hatchback, quite similar to what you get on the BYD Dolphin. And you also get underfloor storage to put some tools. And if you need more space for your IKEA shopping, you can fold the rear seats down to get over 1,100 liters of space. In terms of charging, like what you expect from most Chinese EVs, it supports a single phase 7 kilowatt charging, which takes about 8 hours to charge your full. However, for DC fast charging, it supports 150 kilowatts, so that can get you from 10 to 80% in about half an hour. Much better than what you get on the MG ZS EV. For the interior, the MG4 has a much more modern interior compared to the ZS EV. You have an instrument cluster as well as a central infotainment system and there's also like a semi-floating center console which houses the gear selector that comes in a rotary format. I just wish that the center floating console can be extended further so that there's more space to put small items like your touch and go card and parking tickets. Over at the rear, the MG4's back seat is fairly decent but I think the BOD Dolphin is a better place to be in. The seats are pretty okay with ample legroom and headroom but I wish there's more under thigh support for rear occupants. Another thing that's missing is the rear armrest for the rear occupants with two cup holders. Similar to the BOD Dolphin, the rear seat also has ample of pockets to put two phones and perhaps one more tablet. At time recording, we don't know the actual pricing just yet, but you should be able to get some indicative pricing on our website on soyachincha.com by the time you watch this video. I love the looks, I love the potential performance of the X Power, and I like the fact that this is a rear wheel drive setup. But what do you think? Will you get this or the BYD Dolphin? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of future videos. This is Alex from SoyaChinsha.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye!